Today at JW Pepper, we're taking a look at the Zoom Q8 Handy Video Recorder. We're gonna show you what it comes with, how it works, and some use cases. But more importantly, I wanna to talk to you about why I think this is the best and most affordable video camera for musicians or music teachers. Let's get started. So being a musician who later took up shooting and editing video, the one question I get asked frequently from my musician friends or music teacher friends is, what is the best slash cheapest camera I can get to record myself or my band or my students for lessons or concerts? And this is a really hard question. What is cheap and what is your idea of the best? In the world of cameras, cheap might not be what most people think of. What I always ask first, and remember this is speaking to musicians or music teachers, is audio important? And the answer is always, of course it is, probably more than video. Well, this is going to make cheap a lot harder. This is where a device like the Zoom Q8 Handy Video Recorder comes in. Zoom is an audio company that makes fantastic audio recorders of all varieties and price points. We've talked about them in past videos, and we even use them for our own production needs at JW Pepper. In fact, I'm recording on a Zoom audio recorder right now. The Zoom Q8 is basically a Zoom H4n Pro, which is a great audio recorder with a stereo mic and two XLR inputs. However, the Q8 also has a camera, and this is a big deal. A lot of people immediately gravitate or think about the following options when considering a camera to record audio situations. One, why not just use my phone? The phone has a great video quality. However, for audio, it's just not ideal. Sure, you can plug in an external mic. However, more and more phones are losing their ports. And trust me, soon one of the biggest phones will not have any ports at all. And Bluetooth mics are not great, at least at the moment. Plus, anyone who has really tried filming with their phone for an extended period of time realizes all the extra items needed to make this happen, like charging and the ability to hear the audio while recording. Remember, there's only one port. So connectors and dongles and all those things are things you'll need to buy. Number two, what about a GoPro? You might have one of these. Again, good video quality, but you'll need to add things like an external mic, and depending on the model of GoPro or action cam, those can really vary in quality. And these are mostly used for voice, so recording an entire band or orchestra is not going to happen with good quality from a lavalier mic or the onboard mic of a GoPro. Number three, what about a DSLR or mirrorless camera? Well, now we're into the price problem. However, we're still in the audio woods as well. These cameras are amazing at video. I'm filming with one for this entire video right now. However, they don't have good audio channels or options to plug in mics. We're using a separate audio recorder, remember the Zoom audio recorder, that we sync in the edit. In this case, you need to buy a separate audio recorder for the camera that you just spent a lot of money on. So number four, the other option is, what about a camera that has dedicated microphone inputs? If you have a camera like this one, they're great since you can plug in any mic to them. However, they can be very, very expensive and they're usually used more for production-based companies or things of that nature. So to sum it up, all of these options are absolutely great at video, but they're very poor at audio. And you're a music teacher or a musician, and that's what matters the most. So let's dive into the Q8 and all of its great features and show some of the use cases to showcase how easy it is to get great quality audio and video from this camera. So here's the Q8 in its box, and it says right here, the world's best sounding video camera. In the box, we have the camera itself, which is a very compact camera. It has a fully articulating screen and comes with a mounted interchangeable stereo microphone. More on that later. We also get some additional items the windscreen, which has really saved me in outside situations, a lens cap and a removable lens hood, a removable rechargeable battery, a small wrist strap and a tripod converter to go to a GoPro style mount. The camera itself is capable of recording video at higher than HD quality. It can record in 2.3K, which is convenient for editing. It has lower quality video options as well to save on space. The lens is a wide angle lens with a 2.0 aperture, which is not bad in low light concert situations, but it's very nice to allow for a close placement of the camera and still get a very wide angle. 
The screen is fully articulating, so it's great for recording yourself or positioning the camera at low or high angles. The screen itself is a touch screen, which is very convenient for changing settings on the fly. We have two dedicated XLR inputs that can also accept quarter inch inputs as well. It has dedicated audio gain knobs for those XLR inputs and buttons right on the side to select those channels without needing to go into menus. Additionally, there's a detachable stereo XY microphone, which is a great sounding stereo mic. However, this is the same detachable microphone system found on many Zoom recorders. So these mics can be swapped out in place for this stereo mic. For example, you could use a shotgun microphone, but Zoom also offers another option to add two XLR inputs, giving you the ability to have four dedicated microphones plugged into this camera. On the back with the XLR inputs, we have our dedicated headphone jack, an HDMI to go out to an external monitor, and a USB port to go for either data or charging. And this can be used to power the camera while you're recording for longer sessions. One bonus feature, if you watch either of our previous videos on tech accessories, we've talked a lot about audio interfaces. And just like other Zoom audio recorders, you can use this camera not only as a camera, but you can also use it just as an audio interface to get additional mics into your computer for recording. You can also use this camera to step up your video calls like we talked about in our previous Music Workstation video, which can be found right here. This camera is better and wider than normal webcams and can be positioned at the desk wherever and allows for better audio options as well. Going into the settings, we have all the options for higher or lower video quality. The Q8 also offers some presets for different looks of the video as well. But the main features are all of the options on how to record your audio and video together. The video file will always record all the audio inputs you have selected. So if you have the stereo mic and one additional mic, it will mix those together and give you one video file with the audio file attached. And this is one option that you can use to record with. Another option is to record with higher quality audio in WAV format in separate tracks, and it will give you those files separately to allow for better audio and video editing options. In this case, you can choose to only use the audio files for better audio and keep the video as a reference, or you could mix them together in a video editor, having all the options to mix all the audio and video separately. Here are some examples of ways you might want to consider using the Q8 with or without additional mics. So here's an example of using the Zoom Q8 video recorder in a drum lesson. I have the lavalier microphone going into channel one, and we have the built-in stereo XY mic to record the drum set. You're gonna hear the sound quality of this and why the preamps of this recorder really make it shine versus any other video camera out there. I'll also give you an example of what it sounds like with those sounds processed using the separate wave files that we would get from this also. As I said before, we have options in the way that we're recording this. We can record the video directly with the audio in, in one mix, as you're gonna hear, but we can also use the audio in a separate mix since we're getting those audio files separately in WAV files. So here we go, I'm gonna play some drums for you. Here's an example of a friend of mine who works for a local church and how she has been using the Q8 for her weekly piano segments for their service. She's always working solo, so the convenience of the wide angle really helps with being able to position the camera close to her and still get the shot that she wants, but more importantly, she can get a good sound out of the piano since the stereo mic is right next to the piano. Strength arises, we wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Our God will reign forever. The Q8 has allowed making music virtually a possibility for me. And it's allowed me to put out a product that I'm proud of and one that I know my congregation and my students appreciate. 
So that's our overview of the Q8 Handy Video Recorder. I really like tech products that provide value for me, especially as someone in the field of music. Sometimes I need one thing that does many things, and the Q8 really does all of that. It's a camera, a field recorder, an audio interface, all in one small package. We hope that you found some value in this video today. Adding something like a video camera for a musician can really be a daunting task. I know, I've done it. But it really can step up your game for lots of things, and this camera really checks a lot of the boxes for musicians and music teachers. If you did find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below if you would like to see more videos like this one. And remember, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the content that we have coming out at JWP.